Hey guys, it's Lauren. If you guys need any help with any writing tips or help refilling your creative well, we come to the right place. I have a blind offer. In today's video, I'm going to be doing the name game book tag that I found through Tori's video and her channel is Hufflepuff Discovery. So how the tag works is you take the letters of your name. So I chose to do the name for my channel, which is Lauren Adele and you take each letter of your name and you try to find books that you've read. So the first letter is L and it's Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. Oh god no. I can probably read it. <laughs> so the next letter is A and I decided to go with Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll and I actually like the original book that the Disney version is inspired from. So the next letter is U. So for you, I decided to go with The Ugly Duckling by Hans Christian Andersen. And you'll see that offer pop up again on the list because I love all the fables that they have written and actually have a massive collection of all the fairy tales written by him. So for R, I was given an awesome recommendation by Nicole. <laughs> and the book is called Raven's Gate, The Power of Five Series by Anthony Horitz. And he is the author of the Alex Ryder series as well. Totally recommend checking them out. It's one of my favorite series. So the next letter is E and I decided to go with Ella Enchanted. And it's by Gail Court. Carson Levine. Like a lot of books on this list, it's a retelling of a fairy tale and it's a retelling of Cinderella. So the next letter is N and I decided to go with Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman. Gailman? Gailman. Yeah, there we go. That's okay. I butchered his last name. But after reading Stardust by him, I really liked his style of writing. And apparently in the story, it's supposed to be a dystopian take on how the character is transported to another world. And in this world, like, everything that you know has turned upside down. And the character is trying to struggle with what what he feels is right and wrong and what society thinks is right and wrong. Which I think is interesting. Now the next letter is A. And for this one, I decided to go with Artemis Fowl by Eon Colfer. And apparently it's an interesting series that I was supposed to do a buddy read for and I never got around to it. So it's definitely on my read to go list. And I think Nicole is interested in reading it as well. So the next letter is D and I just said go with Dracula by Bram Stoker. Yay, classic. Classic, classic. I was like, Nicole approves this answer. <laughs> So the next one is E and I decided to go with the last book I read, which was Enchant, the Beauty and the Beast retelling by Demelza Carlton. And I like the concept that they made Belle the Enchantress, so like, yay, magic. But it still ended the scene, which I feel like that's how a lot of the retellings have been lately. Like it'll start out different and I'll be intrigued. And either halfway or near the end of the book, it'll still finish like the fairy tale. And I'm like, how is this a retelling? <laughs> it just ended like the other ones did. So the next letter is L. And for this one, I decided to go with my favorite fairy tale, The Little Mermaid. And see, I told you Hans Christian Anderson would come back again. Yeah, you know, there are a lot of books that I like, but like, I was trying to put a couple of different books in here that wasn't like all like YA fantasy and, and, and fairy tales. You know, that's kind of like what I read. <laughs> Last letter is E. And for this one, I chose Aragon by Christopher Paulini because dragons. That's all I have to say. That's my answer. It's about dragons. But there's better books for dragons. Yes, there are better books for dragons. But I had to go with the letter. And the letter was E. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a lot of fun. I will list the books I mentioned down in the description down below. I think it's fun to reread the books that I've read on here because I think like when you rewatch a movie, when you reread a book, 
there are things that you didn't notice before or there are things that just remind you of how much you love that book. So until next time, try to find something creative to do today and I'll see you guys in the next video.